Our Saints of Faith for today is entitled, Living a Healthy Lifestyle. With what is happening around us right now, especially with the coronavirus pandemic, we should remember to live a healthy lifestyle. Now, a lot of people are surprised to know that the Bible also speaks to us about how to live a healthy lifestyle. Here are four things that we can learn from the Bible. First, we must eat healthy food. Now, what is the biblical definition of a healthy food? Now, Genesis 1.30, this is God saying, He said, I give every green plant for food. Now, the Bible encourages us to eat vegetables and fruits. Now, when the Jews became a nation, the Israelites, they instituted dietary laws. Now, some Christians would say that we are free from these laws. But it is good to be refreshed on what are these laws because Paul once wrote, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Now, let's go back to the dietary laws. Leviticus chapter 11 tells us that God prohibits the Israelites to eat camel, rabbit, and pig. It also says there that God commands the Israelites to eat only fishes that have scales and fins. They prohibited our eels and shells also. Now, one cannot eat blood from animals also, like that of the eagles, the storks, the hawks, the ravens, the heron, and the bat. Secondly, we must rest because rest is essential. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 34 that six days you shall labor, but on the seventh day you shall rest. Even during the plowing season and the harvest, you must rest. My friends, we are always busy. Sometimes the irony is that because of our busyness, no work has been done. We are busy with meetings and oftentimes we are lazy with the implementations. Nevertheless, management principles tells us that productive, effective, and efficient workers are those who are well rested. Rest is also a retreat with yourself and to commune with God. Jesus Christ would always retreat into the mountain to pray. Jesus teaches us to have an alone time. Prayer teaches us also to be patient, for we await the command of God. Thirdly, we must have the right attitude and spirit. Jesus said, do not worry, for who can add a single hour to his life by worrying? None. To worry is to subtract hours from our lives. Proverbs 17.22 says, A cheerful disposition is good for your health. Gloom and doom leave you bone tired. That means that laughter is still the best medicine. Fourth, we must regularly exercise physically and spiritually. Paul observes that a good athlete is somebody who is also very much willing to go for the prize. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games, this is what Paul said, goes into strict training. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. That means, my friends, that we must also exercise, not just spiritually, but also physically. I hope that all of us will continue to live a healthy lifestyle. May God bless us all. Amen.